This is a 2010 Harley Davidson CVO Softail Convertible SL ST SE. It has 16,000 miles. The bike has had no engine work done. It has all of the original accessories included. The upgrades I will show you here momentarily. As you can see, it is a Crimson Sun Glow, Autumn Haze, and the graphics are called Urban Grind. It has the CVO wheels, the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle 110 engine, six speed transmission, and as an aftermarket, it has Vansenheim long shot exhaust. The vehicle as a convertible allows you to take the rear bags off as well as the front windshield. There are only a couple very small blemishes on the bike. Otherwise it is in near perfect condition. The two blemishes that the bike has is here on the front fender. I'm not sure if you can see it, and I don't know what this was, but when I bought it, it had a little bit of scratching here. And the other blemish is on the back fender. Again, not sure that you can see it, but it's just a very small scuff right there. As I said, otherwise the bike is in near pristine condition. I have added the Live to Ride Derby cover, as well as the Live to Ride timing cover and air cleaner cover. Those can go with the bike or they can stay separate. Additionally, have added the recessed gas and fuel um, gauges so that you can uh, to give it a little more streamlined look. And as you can see from the sun here, you can see the graphics of that urban grind really popping off of um, off of the gas tank there. As I mentioned before, the bike does have 16,054 miles. Go ahead and start it up so you can hear it. A Mustang 2-Up. This is called the wide original Mustang seat. So it's a 2-Up seat, much wider than what comes with the bike originally. I do have the original two-part Harley-Davidson seat that came with the bike as well. I also have the headlight and taillight original assemblies. I'm going to also show you a feature of the uh, Custom Dynamics lights. That is, you can see the white ring here, but when you turn the turn signals on, it changes to a yellow flashing light. On the back of the bike, basically you get the same thing. You get the red flashing light.
The air cleaner on this is an Arlen Nest Big Sucker. As I mentioned before, I have not done any engine work on it. However, within the last month, I have had the bike dynoed. I do have the dyno paperwork in hand. Um, also, with the bike, I have nearly brand new, and you can see the tread here. This is less than a year old front tire and brakes. And on the back tire, it is less than a week old with new brakes. If you have any questions, if there's anything else that you'd like to know about the motorcycle, please give me a call.